We got the Knight of Pentacles. We got the Eight of Swords reversed. And then we got the Moon. So somebody may have fell in love with somebody. See, they fell in love with somebody or they just refused to open up. Somebody. It's either you or another individual. But somebody is definitely holding back their feelings, Leo. Whoever this is, this is somebody that could be wanting a commitment, though. So somebody could be holding back their feelings, but they also want a commitment. But I feel like one of y'all are committed to breaking free from this. Whether this is you or them. Because of the of somebody being deceptive or of somebody keeping their feelings to themselves. Some of y'all, that's what it is. Your person can't give you a commitment. It's like, you know this person loves you and they want to be with you. But I just feel like this is somebody that feels as if their partner or their person is hiding these feelings and they don't want to express themselves. So you could be breaking free. From this person due to the simple fact that they could be hiding how they feel about you, Leo. But let's dive deeper and see what's going on. Some Somebody is committed to breaking free from this situation. Because it caused them to be very anxious. Some of y'all, your person could be walking away from you because of the anxiety of this connection. How they feel about this connection. This is somebody that has a, um, a dark side about them, Leo. Some of y'all could be a water sign, an earth sign, or a fire sign. But once again, this situation makes somebody feel uncomfortable, where they feel like they need to let go. They love you, but they just, they too, they're not comfortable with it. Especially holding on to these feelings. We got the Five of Cups reverse. We got the Emperor. And then we got the Five of Swords reverse. Somebody is breaking free. And I feel like it could be you, Leo. But whoever this is on the back end of the situation that feels uncomfortable. This person is going to totally regret it, Leo. If they allow you to get away, they're going to deeply regret it, Leo. Some of y'all, they're just not comfortable with their emotions. Like I said, I feel like it could be the reason why they're not opening up. Because this connection makes them feel uncomfortable. Being vulnerable. But like I said, they're going to regret it, Leo. Because of your discipline to get over the situation and not fuss and fight, you know, with this person. Or if not, it could just be saying your your discipline, your self-control to um, avoid all the, the chaos or anything that has been sabotaged. You see what I'm saying? So it's telling me that as you walk away from this person, this person is going to deeply regret the, your, like, the simple fact that they didn't open up to you, Leo. This is somebody that has like this stern, you know, persona about them. Maybe they could be feeling like they need to have, yeah, they, they, they just want control of it. But they mad that you are disciplined. And don't want to fight. Or they, I don't know, I just feel like this person is like purposely sabotaging this connection. Knowing that you want a commitment. Knowing that you love them or you want love, right? You know this person loves you. And they, I feel like they know this too. But... They just cannot handle 
the overwhelming amount of emotions that they have for you. So they pick up, they pull, they present themselves as being strong. But I feel like you're breaking free and gaining some type of control of the situation because you just don't, you're tired of, you, you, you feel like it, you, you're just tired of the, um, of being defeated in this situation. But some of y'all, this person could be secretly getting over something that they keep sabotaging with you. That's some of y'all. They could be trying to get over that because they know they are purposely, they are sabotaging what they could have with you, Leo, and it's pushing you away. But like I said, the reason why you're getting pushed away because you're just tired of this person not opening up. You know, maybe they could be being deceptive, but I feel like it's more of them hiding how they really feel about you and you're just tired of that. But somebody's definitely uncomfortable about, you know, the feelings that they have for you, Leah, because they feel like they need to have control over their feelings. But I don't feel like this person, somebody's not looking for any, like, conflict with you. They don't want to beef with you for real. They don't want to argue with you. They don't want to sab this, sabotage this connection. But like I said, some of y'all getting tired of this person. Due to them not being expressive and not opening up or whatever. So expect communication with the page of wands right here. Some of y'all's person could be younger than you or y'all could have a um a gay age gap. If not, it could just be saying that this is somebody that may be very immature in regards of, you know, connecting with you, communicating with you. And then and it's crazy because I feel like this is something that they're not even aware of. They're not aware of how the immature communication come in with them on their end and not expressing their love. It's hindering y'all growth and y'all, you know, connection or whatever. But it's telling me that this person definitely going to reach out to you and you're not going to see it coming, Leo. They want to make peace. They want to bring harmony in this connection. Because they have love for you. So they're going to open up a little bit. So when this person reach out, you may be the first person to initiate something or they may be the first person. But this person is only coming back because you bring them peace, Leo. And they do love you. They do. But like I said, they've been holding it back trying to control how they really feel because of the amount of love that they have for you. They really don't want to sabotage this connection, even though you're, you're on your way out the door. They really don't want to sabotage it because they do have feelings for you. Okay, what else? Yeah, I just feel like this person get at the beginning they give off the impression like they don't want a commitment. But in reality they do. It's just the feelings. It's the feelings that they feel for you. It's make them feel very uncomfortable, Leo, and they were trying to control them. But they don't want to sabotage this at all. So expect this person to come back and be vulnerable. Seeing some type of change. Wow, this person could be definitely expressing how they, how they feel about you. Some of you guys, this person wants to start over and, and maybe even be with you. Some of you guys, they want to be with you. Because the love is still there. And I, I feel like some of y'all may have not been aware of the, of the simple fact that this person loves you so deeply. To the point it makes them feel uncomfortable. Like, I feel like a lot of y'all, some of y'all have, have, some of y'all are aware, some of y'all are really not aware because how the, um, the strong, like, persona, persona that they put up, you know, the front, this is a front right here, you know, but somebody is coming to make progress, making changes and opening up to you, y'all, because they made a decision. 
you have the key to this heart, this person's heart, no matter how many people that they have, if they have any at all. But I don't think they do. I feel like this person, you have the key to this person's heart and you make this person happy. And now they want to expand. And now they want to make some progress. They want to make some changes. Because they love being around you, Leo. Some of y'all are some Pisces. A water sign. A Aries. I'm seeing a lot of water. But there is a, after ending, there's going to be a new beginning, Leo. And there is going to be somebody that is going to open up and let you know how they really feel. They really want to be with you, Leo. They do. Um, the rest of you guys, your person could be telling you that they are in another connection with somebody else. But they in love with you. And that could be the reason why they like to hold on to you, Leo. Because you the only person that make them happy. Even if they are dating somebody new, you're the only person that they love and you're the only person that make them happy, Leo. But I feel like for the most part, they're going to make some changes after being afraid to open up and being vulnerable with you that they want something serious with the emperor right here. Because they don't want to let you go. They don't want to destroy a good thing that they have with you because they know they love you and they know you love them too. Like I said, some of y'all was aware, some of y'all y'all wasn't aware. Some of y'all was aware, but they wasn't acting on it. And that's why you were like on the urge of leaving this person behind. But something is about to turn around with this person where they'll be able to express how they really feel about you. They're going to make a decision. And the decision is to grow, to expand, and be happy with you and date you all over again. They could be letting go of a third party the rest of y'all it may not be a third party this could just be saying this person is about to speak their truth and want to start all over with you and date you they love interacting with you leo talking y'all got a serious talk coming in with that ace of swords and talking right there somebody is about to be flat out open and honest and truthful to you about how they really feel after not showing you interest that's exactly what I'm seeing. Somebody is really about to lay it all out on the table and let you know how they really feel. Because I just feel like at first it was just very uncomfortable to open up to you because they're not used to this. So they had to put up a front. But your person came to terms that they need to get serious with themselves. Because they don't want to sabotage this. They don't want to let you go. So expect communication. Yo, Y'all not going to see it coming. But your person wants... To bring balance in this connection. Because they do love you. And they do enjoy your company. This is somebody that really enjoys your company, Leo. They love being around you. And maybe you love being around them too. We got anger. Yeah, this is somebody that was mad. I wouldn't say mad. But some of y'all could be upset when this person come back. You could be annoyed by the opportunity that comes ahead of you, Leo, with this person. But I'm also hearing that somebody was mad because they loved you and they didn't know how to handle it. That's why they put up that front. But at the end of the day, there is something coming in. Somebody definitely was putting up a front, though, because of the amount of emotions that they have for you. Things are going to get better. This opportunity is definitely going to get better with this person if y'all let this person back in. Things are definitely going to grow. Y'all going to be able to compromise and work, you know, this situation out. Yep, there's going to be some form of balance between the two of you. I'm probably going to pull some paper cards. But somebody's still going to end up getting... What the... We got bitterness, detachment, courage, stamina. This was some of y'all, not everybody. But I 
You know what's crazy? Soon as things get good with y'all, I'm not going to lie. Your person may get in their feelings again. You know what it is? Because they can't handle your love, Leo. They can't handle the amount of feelings that they have for you. That's all. That's all. And they're going to feel the need to detach themselves. It's like the closer they get to you, Leo, the more in love that they fall for you. And it makes them angry. So even if they think that they can handle this and come back, Leo, and be serious to you, they end up chickening it out. I'm not going to lie. Some of y'all this person, when things go good and get too goddamn close to you, they may freak out and run away again. I'm just being honest for, for some of you guys. For some of you guys. Meanwhile, you have the strength and the, you have the stamina to hold on to this situation. You are the grounded one. They just cannot handle the amount of emotions that they have for you, Leo. So it's like they leave again. They leave or they detach themselves from it all. That's the type of person you're dealing with. Because I don't feel like this could be a, this a bad connection. I just feel like somebody cannot handle the amount of emotions that they have for you. And you over here, you're grounded. You act like you're not phased. Even though you love them too. But I feel like you you are the more grounded individual, Leo, and trying to keep the peace. You see what I'm saying? You don't want the conflict. Meanwhile, you feel like some of y'all feel like they create the con conflict sometimes, as if y'all had a conflict with this person at one point in time, or maybe all the time. I don't know. That's for somebody. I strongly feel like you try to keep the peace, and they do too, but those emotions, they can't seem to get out of their feelings. When they get around you. Listen, because you always own this person's heart and mind. They cannot stop. Even no matter how much they run from you or try to hide anything. This per you still in this person's mind. Period. But somebody gonna have the strength to come forward. Eventually they will finally gain the courage to come forward, Leo. And you know. Yeah, some of y'all's person may end up coming back again if they end up ghosting you or walking away from you. They're trying to gather their strength, Leo, to be around you for a period of time, a longer period of time. Wow. Because this person, they want, they actually do want to commit to you. Some of y'all's person want to be married to you. Um, or they already married, but to you. But this is what they want. They know they need to, to gather themselves. They need to control their emotions, you know, with, you know, to, in order to have you. On their mind is marriage. On their mind is commitment. They tried to overthink it, though. They did. When they detached themselves from you after they thought they had under to have everything under control, you know, they second guessed on whether they should leave you or not. But like I said, they are gathering the courage. They're gathering the strength to come forward, Leo, because they do see you as commitment material. They look at you as marriage material. Some of y'all, this person could still be married to somebody, but they are freeing themselves from that. Some of y'all, I'm also hearing this person may have been traumatized about our previous relationship. And that because it scares them how deeply they feel for you. Because they know once they emotionally get in, they all the way in it, Leo. They all the way in it. But I feel like your person, even though they think about being like marriage with you, because like I said, they already offered you an opportunity, but I feel like they took it back. Because of the amount of emotions that they have for you. But that is still on their mind. Of a, a marriage from their past may still be on their mind. And maybe they could be, like I said, they may end up second guessing it at times. They go back and forth and being indecisive because of the trauma that they may have experienced from the past when they were married. Maybe they were left single. Yep. Some of y'all, your person could be traumatized. But... There ain't no way around it to run away from how they really feel about you because the feelings are just there. 
You know what I'm saying? No matter how traumatized a person may be or afraid of opening up to you because of their past, they cannot control how they really feel about you. So what they do is they don't say anything at all or they don't act on it at all because of how they feel. But it's telling me that they... They they may be indecisive. I'm not going to lie. Some of y'all. They could be indecisive on whether they want to be committed or whether they want to be single. Some of y'all. Yeah, y'all dealing with somebody who just, and they chicken out. They, they become a coward of being around you. They can't, they can't regulate their emotions. They can't ground their emotions when it comes to, to be with you. Because that's what they want. They want to be with you. The offer is on the table. But they go, they double back on whether they make a right decision or not of being with you. Whether they want to be with you or whether they want to be single. That's exactly what I'm seeing. That indecisiveness got them scared. Because I ain't going to say the indecisiveness. The emotions got them scared. And second guessing this connection. Because they can't be grounded. But... They will gather themselves, Leo. They will sit there and think about whether they want this with you or whether they want to stay single. It's all because of them being traumatized. And they know that if they bring all of their emotions to you, Leo, and want to be with you and be all in and get serious, they may be afraid of being left, Leo, after they get emotionally involved because of a past person left them. They think they kind of compare you to their past, but you're not like the past. You looking for this person to open up to you. You looking for a serious commitment. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to, you don't want to, you know, destroy this connection with you. But they are destroying it by holding back their feelings and not wanting to, you know, not wanting to open up. Coming off as cold, stubborn, you know. But... No, you're not like your, their ex. They're comparing you to their ex and their, their trauma from their past. And you're not like that. I feel lonely. Yeah, they eventually feel lonely when they when they ran away from you. Of course they're going to feel lonely. You all in this person's mind anyways. I don't understand. I'm going to have to clarify. Yeah, they feel lost without you. That's what I'm hearing. When they run away from you or detach themselves and don't open up to you, they feel alone. And they're trying to figure out why they feel so much emotions towards you so, so deeply, Leo. It's because they need to heal. They need to let go of their trauma from the past instead of comparing you to their past person that they was married to or in a relationship with. They need to heal. That's why. Some of y'all's person cry at night. Because they feel alone. Because they feel lost. You know. But they do cry at night. About the situation. I'm telling y'all. This person is very emotional. Some of y'all is definitely a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or this could be your energy. Wow. Some of you guys, your person could be so down and out and cry so much at the point they revert to drugs and alcohol. But they do want change. They just don't can't find an outlet. They can't find a way out. I feel like they just need to take a stand back and heal a little bit. Go within some more. Because reverting to drugs and alcohol, trying to find yourself, that's not it. If anything, it will have you continue to lose yourself. They try to fight the feelings, Leo, but they can't. It's, it's there. This person loves you. It is what it is. Look, I can't stop thinking about you. I told you, no matter how much, how long that they are going, no matter when they leave, no matter how long they're gone, you always on this person's mind about, you know, being in love with you, staying in love with you, and having something serious with you. Because like I say, I feel like the offer is there still, but staying in it for the long haul to the point they lose themselves, they're afraid of that. They're going to lose themselves being with you, Leo. Because of the trauma that they have experienced from their past. 
they don't want to lose themselves in this relationship. Their feelings are already all over the place and overwhelming when they're around you for too long. You know, that's what they're afraid of. Being falling in love with you and falling so deeply in love with you to the point that they're afraid of the past repeating itself. That's who y'all dealing with. That's exactly who y'all dealing with. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates and y'all take care.